This video will introduce you to some interesting fact about quantum computing. Before we get into the subject, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Quantum computers are not supposed to check your emails, update status, or do normal software or hardware tasks. Instead, they are based on something more complicated. Quantum computer deals with particles much smaller than the size of atoms. At such smaller scales, rules of physics do not make any sense. This is where exciting things begin to happen. Particles could move back and forth or can even exist simultaneously. These types of computers can increase computational power beyond what is achievable by today's conventional computers. Let's elaborate on what we know about quantum computing at present. We've gathered some of the interesting facts about quantum computers that will bend your mind. Let's dive into the video. Information Storage Pattern The computers we use today store data in a binary format, a series of zeros and one. Each component of memory is called a bit, and it can be manipulated via steps of Boolean logic. On the other hand, a quantum computer would store data as either a zero, one, or a quantum superposition of the two states. Such a quantum bit also known as qubits has far greater flexibility as compared to a binary system. Qubits could be implemented by using particles with two spin states, up and down. Such a system could be mapped onto an effective spin one-half system. Blazing speed. Since data in quantum computers can exist in more than just zeros and one state, they can perform calculations in parallel. Let's consider a simple example. If the qubit is in a superposition of state 0 and state 1, and it performed a calculation with another qubit in a similar superposition, it would leave four results 0 over 1, 0 over 0, 1 over 0 and 1 over 1. The quantum computer will show the above result when it is in a state of decoherence, which lasts while it is in a superposition of states until it collapses down to one state. The ability to perform multiple tasks simultaneously is known as quantum parallelism. Security redefined. The speed of quantum computers is also a severe concern in the field of encryption and cryptography. Today's world's financial security systems are based on factoring large numbers RSA or DSA algorithms that literally cannot be cracked by conventional computers within the lifespan of Earth. However, a quantum computer could factor the numbers in a reasonable period. On the other hand, quantum computers will be able to provide unbreakable security features. They can lock crucial data such as online transactions, email accounts with far better encryptions. Many algorithms have been developed for quantum computers most well known are Grover's algorithm for searching an unstructured database and Shor's algorithm for factoring large numbers. Power efficient. Power consumption is the critical factor of any device running on electricity. A huge array of processors need a hefty amount of power supply to sustain their performance. The fastest supercomputer in the world summit, for example, consumes 13 megawatts of power. However, things get really interesting with quantum computers. Since they use quantum tunneling, they will reduce the power consumption by a factor of 100 to 1000. The alternate realities. According to quantum physics, we deal with something called multiverse, where a problem may have many or infinite probable solutions. For instance, you might be reading this article on your laptop. In another universe, you might be reading this over mobile while traveling. A quantum computer can perform n tasks in n parallel universes and arrive at the outcome. If a traditional computer does n calculations in n seconds, a quantum computer can perform n2 calculations in the same amount of time. You might remember IBM's Deep Blue was the first computer to defeat a world chess champion, Garry Kasparov, in 1997. The computer did so by examining 200 million possible moves per second. Far from human brain ability. But, if it was a quantum machine, it would have calculated 1 trillion moves per second, 4 trillion moves in 2 seconds, and 9 trillion moves in 3 seconds. Why it is difficult to build quantum computers? The problem with quantum computers is stability. It turns out the interference any kind of vibration upsets the vibration of atoms creates gibberish output. Electrons in quantum mechanics behave like waves and are described by a wave function. These waves can interfere, causing the strange behavior of quantum particles, and this is called decoherence. So this is our video for today. If you like our video don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till then stay safe and stay happy.